Uh, I do want to talk about this too. Is uh, I got called propaganda the other day, you guys. Uh, yeah, I got called propaganda the other day, uh, which is hilarious and crazy to me that uh, that I got called that. Where I, I got the reason why is I posted um, my live stream that I did about the largest strike in human history, which happened in India uh, on, uh, Thanksgiving, right? November 26th. And there's a whole video about it. It's like an hour and a half live stream. Um, talking about the whole thing. Uh, some of you guys saw it. Some of you guys commented on it. It was, it, it was really fun. And I think it's important to talk about it. So the, the only, you know, the, the, the outlets that I got my information from are left voice and the people's dispatch. And the reason why I even got those notifications is because Lee camp, shared the people's dispatch article right and then i saw like lee oh lee's talking about it too this is great let's get more exposure on this thing so i did a big long kind of breakdown of what the strike was all about and all this other stuff right and then i saw that jimmy door posted about it graham elwood had posted about it as well and uh i just thought it was kind of funny that uh, you know, a handful of comedians and a handful of independent journalists were the only ones covering it. And so I was like, well, I need to, you know, we need to shed as much light about it. And the video that I posted in this one particular group, there was a person that basically came out and said, is this real? Is this actually happening? And I was like, yeah, it's absolutely 100% like happening. You know, uh, the, the farmers are striking in India and there's a bunch of solidarity strikes that are happening. And it was this organized day wide nation uh, nationwide uh, day long general strike. And, you know, the importance of that and what it shows and how they're fighting neoliberalism uh, through direct action. Super important. Uh, and the dude comes back and says, hey, this is propaganda uh and and promotion which I, I mean yes it is it is promotion but we're all trying to promote ourselves especially if you're in any sort of entertainment or business thing right like are you gonna bitch it you don't bitch at facebook for you know promoting and their their bullshit like they they're putting up ads for the oculus which is like a game for system like a vr game system that they have like you don't get mad about that and this is also pertaining to things that the group discusses anyway, right? Uh, sociopolitical topics uh, that are particularly of interest to POCs, uh, you know, and I figured the largest strike in human history happening in in, in my home country is uh, pretty important to talk about. So then he goes and calls me propaganda and he posts uh, uh, a Vox article and a Hindustan Times article. So I read those. Uh, two articles and the Vox article was basically like it like downplayed the the whole thing um, you know it was like oh you know maybe uh, some of these farmers seem to be upset about neoliberalism and you know we really don't really understand why neoliberalism is so great it's pretty cool everybody should try it have you have you have you tried neoliberalism lately it's pretty neat these farmers who <laughs> boy they're mad uh, and it seems very confusing. Maybe they don't understand what neoliberalism is. And then, it, you know, that's sort of the way the article goes. So it downplays a lot of what was going on. It never mentions anything about the solidarity strikes. It never mentions that this was an organized uh, uh, direct action. Um, same thing with the Hindustan Times. And these are very like neoliberal outlets, right? Like that's that's what they champion. They champion capitalism. They champion neoliberalism. So anything going against it, they're going to essentially downplay, delegitimize, or ignore altogether, which is what most mainstream outlets did. Most mainstream outlets didn't uh, cover this shit at all. <laughs> like they didn't talk about it at all. So my my retort to this person was like, this is actually happening and the independent journalists and comedians are the only ones talking about it because this goes against what most corporate media are about, uh, which is empowering the working class. And one could say that, uh, and uh, you know, a, a neoliberal paper like Vox um, is, is propaganda itself. You know, you, you can call me propaganda even though I am paid by none of the strikers like the unions that organized this strike didn't send me a check to fucking cover this 
So uh, I don't work for the state. You know, it's like I'm I'm reporting about the people. Like I'm reporting about like a direct action that the people took against a neoliberal government um, establishment government. So uh, and it's something that you know most people widely are against. They're against neoliberal economic principles. So it's important to talk about it, and I've been sharing it a whole lot. And then I just saw the other day Jimmy Dore was saying how even Facebook. So I'm I'm very I would be surprised if if Facebook just decides to throttle this video right now. <laughs> uh, but Facebook it has kind of put the kibosh on uh, any anything that talks about the largest strike in human history. So they're censoring this historic event in and of itself. Right. And I posted uh, I've reposted my videos on and off uh, on various different social medias. And, you know, they'll get a react here and there. But it's it's uh, it's kind of crazy. Like the the it, like the immediate throttling of the videos is kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, it was it was a weird thing that happened that I kind of wanted to 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 share with you guys. Uh, Holly, it's called news. Yes, it is. It is news. And and I think the, the largest strike in human history is is rather big news, right? It's news that I think we should all be paying attention to. It's news that I think um, we should all be uh, we should all know about, and we should understand where these strikers are coming from. Was the other thing Vox didn't do was talk about their demands, talk about uh, you know who was organizing it, why the farmers were going on strike. Like it just kind of blew over all of it, and and that's specifically designed to to delegitimize the movement, to make this movement seem irrational when it's really not. You know, it's very logical. They're asking for uh, better rights. They're asking for better compensation, a UBI, uh, food for, for people in need. Don't cover any of that. Just talk about how this goes against economic prosperity, right? That's how they kind of propose it, economic prosperity, when, when there isn't. It, you know, there's economic prosperity for a few uh, while the rest of us are kind of stuck to struggle throughout the um, th th throughout the days. So, hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to 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 address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, uh, that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.